Hello and welcome to Easily Manage Daily Priorities and Information in Microsoft Outlook, a Microsoft Office tutorial presented by Log On to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave. In this session, we'll cover how to use Microsoft Outlook 2007's To Do Bar. The To Do Bar in Outlook 2007 allows you to manage your priorities and information. The To Do Bar is on the right side of the screen. As you can see, it shows a small calendar that you can navigate to different dates. This is called the Date Navigator. It shows you upcoming appointments on your calendar. And it shows you tasks and other to-dos that you've created, either by flagging emails or by creating tasks. The To-Do Bar in Outlook 2007 can be minimized or expanded. It always begins in its expanded state. If you want to minimize it, you can click on the double arrows on the top right. Once the to-do bar is minimized, you can still read upcoming appointments and task information sideways. If you wish to expand it back to full size, click on the double arrows again which point leftwards. You can also temporarily collapse and expand the to-do bar. Collapsing is done the same way by clicking on the double arrows up here at the top. But if you want to expand it only temporarily, click on the to-do bar itself rather than clicking on the arrows, and the to-do bar expands as a little floating panel outward here to the left. To collapse it again, you can simply click on the to-do bar itself a second time. Another way to collapse it is to simply click someplace else on the screen. After you've expanded it this way, clicking elsewhere on the screen collapses the to-do bar. You can hide the to-do bar altogether. While the to-do bar is expanded, you can see the hide button up here on the top right. You can close the to-do bar and it doesn't appear at all. When you want to see it again, simply go to your View menu on the top left of the screen, go to To-Do Bar, and choose how you'd like to view it, either Normal, Minimized, or Off. Let's put it back on Normal. When you want to create a To-Do on the To-Do Bar, simply go to the top of the To-Do list where it says Type a New Task, and click and create your to-do right there. Pressing Enter creates the to-do. It's automatically assigned a due date of today according to the flag. Another way to create a to-do is to switch your view to the tasks and make sure that you're actually viewing your to-do list over here on the left. The to-do list in Outlook is a little separate from the tasks, although there's overlap between them. When you click on to-do list, you can click here at the top to add a new to-do or add a new task. And you can supply a due date over to the right. Notice the flag is automatically created so that the to-do is going to finish today. However, you can create a to-do date for whenever you like. And by the way, Outlook understands smart to-do dates as well. For example, if this was due tomorrow, I could just simply type in tomorrow, and Outlook understands what tomorrow is. Another way to create a new to-do is to flag an email. Let's say that I want to flag this email about casual dress in the workplace. Here's the email selected over here in my inbox. By flagging it, I've automatically created a to-do over here in the to-do bar on the right. Another way to create an item on your to-do bar is by creating a normal appointment in the calendar. Here at 3 o'clock, I want to remember to water plants by simply typing in the time slot and pressing Enter. I've created my appointment in the simplest way possible. When I head back to my mailbox, in which I normally see the to-do bar, I can see the water plants has been added into my upcoming list of appointments for me. You can change the way that you view to-dos in the to-do bar by right-clicking on the headers at the top. For example, Right now, to-dos are arranged by due date. With a right click, I can arrange them by categories, by start date, 
by type, by importance, or choose a custom item. For custom, what you get is the standard customized view dialog in Microsoft Outlook. Let's put this back on due date. If you wish to show them in groups, you can collapse and expand the groups. If you don't wish to show them in groups, simply right click at the top and uncheck show in groups. In addition to these changes that you can make, you can also modify properties of the to-do bar by using the view menu. Go to to-do bar. You can uncheck items that you do not wish to see. For example, if I no longer wish to see the date navigator, I can remove that and I now have more room for upcoming appointments and upcoming tasks. You can also dive a little bit deeper into the options. Go to to-do bar under the view menu and choose options. Here you can choose to show or hide various items or change the number of items each one shows. For example, maybe I'd like to see the next five appointments rather than the next three. I have room for five even though I don't have five in my calendar. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you for choosing Log On to Learn, presented by KnowledgeWave, educating the world anywhere, anytime.